Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to SimUK. Welcome back to our Train Life A Railway Simulator uh, Let's Play series. We've just bought ourselves a brand new train and six passenger wagons and six mail wagons. Um, now, what I've tried to do is figure out exactly how we're going to do this. And, well, I'm still a little bit in the dark. If we come here on the map, you can see... London Main produces 185 passengers. It accepts zero passengers. Um, so we're going to start our journey there. And if we come over here to uh, London Warehouse, you can see that they produce 185 mail. So we're going to pop in there and grab all of that. Um, and then after that, we don't really have anything in England. It's of any good to anybody, uh, but we do have some mail here at Calais and the production of 185 passengers, but it doesn't accept any passengers. Same as London, which is somewhat confusing. Um, in fact, none of the cities appear to accept any passengers, so uh, this might be a complete disaster. Difficult to know until I try. Um, in addition to that, my previous employee... Oh, what's happened here? Right. So I, I'm, I am getting more and more confused with each uh, game. Locomotives owned. Three. Drivers with tasks. None. Not quite sure why that is. Um, I've set this up a couple of times. First time I had this guy, Zyoko Martinovich. But um, unfortunately, because our level is quite low, we don't have enough spots for two drivers so we've got more trains than we have drivers at the moment which is a bit frustrating let's create a task i say cargo so we've got the steel mill which produces two or we have A sawmill which produces three. So I'm going to say London sawmill to Brussels warehouse. Now Brussels warehouse is lit up as blue, but if you look at the list of things that they accept, wood doesn't seem to be in that list. So I'm somewhat confused, but we're going to set that up. I'm going to do five, tick all the boxes. Confirm the task. Boom. So when we go back, we've now got one employee who's travelling to the start. And uh, I, I, I don't know. If you look at the company uh, summary, even though we set him up before, and I think he was off doing a job, uh, we've earned absolutely no money off our employees. So... Either I'm doing it completely wrong, or the game is completely broken, or a bit of both. Um, and I've no idea which. Right, but this is what we're going to try today. We're going to try and do passenger and mail. And again, we come into company, look at my train, no contracts available. They're either passengers or postage. Um, so, oh, hang on, select destination. Let me try this again, because I don't think that went in properly either. Auto reverse upon completion. Apply to GPS. Confirm. Okay, so it will be like a round robin up to Calais and back again. But I have no idea if we're going to make any money. I really don't. Uh, so may maybe, I hadn't thought about this, maybe I need to contact London Main first. 
Right, let's go London Warehouse. Services. Postage services. Right, okay, so you just you just tell them that you're delivering post and stuff. I don't know. Right, let's just try it. Got a new electric train, not diesel now. Acceleration is much faster. Let me just have a little look see here. So we're gonna go right. Fast as well. Accelerates really quickly. Totally new train. I'm gonna to have to get completely get used to driving it. Sounds different, that's nice. And we can do 125 kilometers an hour in this train, which is a little bit exciting. Okay, so I think we're going to head to... It's going to be harder because we're going to come up to these tracks so much quicker. We're going to head to London, Maine. And we're going to... I'm ex exceeding the speed limit. Ah, <gasps> oh, I missed my turning. I'm trying to slow the train down, I missed my turning. Good job there's nobody on board, isn't there? Good start. Right. Back her up. It is nice having these super long uh, carriages. I just wish it was like um, a free cam so I could see it all. Right, let's try this again. This is a totally different train experience, I tell you. Animals on the track. Okay, let's try this again. This time we're going to go left. This thing is lethal fast. Way better than our last train. Same horn though, strangely. Right, let's go. No, I still don't have access to London Main, which seems odd, because it's the next station on this route. Oh no, it's right on our track. Move, dude. Still not there, look. Right, London Main. Services, station access, back, passenger boarding. Go to the station and proceed to the indicated track, over. All right. Yeah, I can see us derailing this train, because it just accelerates so quickly. I think, I think I'm going to have to turn the train around and then pick up the passengers. But here's London Main. London Waterloo, I guess. Something like that. Is that the stadium? Football stadium? Well, that's cool.
It's a big downhill. Look at that. Wee. <laughs> Added 10 miles an hour to the speed of the train. Would have been faster if I was in here. I don't think we've been up here before, have we? It's the first time we've come to London, Maine. So, quite a long entrance to London Main. Got to find a way to turn the train round, and then I've got to find the right track. You watch, I bet it's over there. I bet it's over on the left. Got to be, isn't it? Oh, speed's too high. Route to destination has been lost. Interesting. Right, is there a factory here? Because I really do need to be able to turn the train around, if possible, please. One there, look. Crikey, how am I going to get to that? Yeah, we're on the wrong track. This is pretty spectacular, isn't it? Oh my god, look at this. Right, give me some clue. Which track am I meant to be on? Oh, that one over there, look. Right. Ah. I knew this first run was going to be tricky. Let's back it up. I have to back up quite a way. Yeah, we are. We're going to have to back up quite a long way. Unless I come down here and then back up that way. That could work. In fact, it would have worked if I hadn't have swapped tracks here. Okay, so. It's going to be somewhat painful, this, I tell you. Never see trains doing this in the real world, do you? Oh. I cannot see the end of my train. That is a big problem. far enough past the point. Here we go. Here goes absolutely nothing. Do 
do not know how I'm going to turn this train around. I really don't. Look at this train, man. That's awesome. Reverse, left, go. wondering whether I could decouple the train but I'm not sure that's going to work in my favour. Don't know whether to go to the to the to the to the, to the track or to try and turn around first. Somehow I've got to get in here look not going to be easy. I do not know if this is going to work. I really need to be able to see the other end of the train. going to work, is it? Right. You know what? Let's just get the passengers on board. And we'll figure the rest out as we go. Doing it here. Not viable. What I need is another train at the other end. Right, V. Doors are opening. Passengers are boarding. Doors are closing. Right, doors are closing. Okay. So we're going to start this off in reverse, which just seems ludicrous, but that's what we're going to do. Is there any way to know how many passengers got on? 43. Wow, that's cool. And so he's halfway through a task. So that's good, I think. This is going to be hell. Oh, speeding. See, look, how am I supposed to get to that?
Look at that, 20% power. We're still accelerating. If I can turn this round, this is going to be a fantastic little journey. If I can't turn it around, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. Look at that, I'm all the way over on the left-hand side. That was not my intention. Go up to 80 kilometres an hour now, which I'm going to try and do. A good little train, this. Tell you what, we're going to have some fun with this. I guess I could decouple, couldn't I? And I could turn the train round and then reconnect the other end. I mean, that's how you would do it in the real world. And I think you could do that in this game. I think that's possible. Because this is horrible. I really don't like this at all. If I could just have one of these locos at each end, I'd be laughing. But I don't know how you would set that up. So I need to get access to London Warehouse. Okay, all set up. Pretty scary going into a into the warehouse blind like this. I have no idea when to switch the switches or anything. to it now. Taking a sharp right, so now I'll keep it left. That should bring us right down the middle. And by hook or by crook, I may have actually put us on the correct... No, I haven't. I missed it. Hard cargo mode required. What does that mean? Oh, I can't do it. Oh, that's really disappointing. How the hell am I going to turn around? I can see a green marker over there. I wonder if I can get into it by... Ah, oh, that's right. 
maybe that one. If I can get into that one, we've got a chance. So awkward this, I tell you. I can't <clears throat> I can't decouple the wagons so I can't leave them and uh, reconnect at the other end that's something I'd like to see changed in the game because obviously that's a large part of train driving um, I'm not a big fan of this going into the factory and turning around thing a bit daft but uh, that's what we needed to do so I get myself in the right place we could pick up the post and fingers crossed uh, we can head to France without too many further delays Got to make sure that the entirety of the train is through that point before I reverse up. It's not easy to do from the front. Oh, great! So his his job was irrelevant, even though. Even though I ticked the box to say, wait until it's absolutely full. Still had nothing on board. That was a wasted journey. This one's proving to be a little bit tricky. See if this works. Begin pickup. Your train with emergency brake. Right, we're opening doors. Picking up post. It's fantastic. It's actually working. Takes a while to pick up post, doesn't it? Press V to close the doors. Break off, breaks off, we're away. All right. That was nothing short of a nightmare, but oh crap. Nightmare continues. All right. 
No. Verse. Ah, oh, gosh. A bit further, I think. we go. Now we can go to France. speeding. Alright, we can go up to 85 now. Up to 120. Let's do it. I think in somewhere in the next couple of episodes I'll probably turn off all the HUD. I'm just driving off the instruments. I think that'd be more fun. Definitely fun driving at this higher speed. A bit scary actually, but I'll get used to it. And because I'm just going straight to uh to uh is it Paris? That's good. Oh god, I pressed Q by accident. I nearly swapped into his track. That was so lucky. So lucky, I so nearly did that. Wow. Okay. Disaster averted. radio stations the air conditioning thing I don't quite understand yet I'm sure at some point that will be relevant to something okay messing about with the buttons don't mind me game I'm just experimenting some speed now. 130. 132. I'm going to slow down because I don't want to derail. It'd be good if you got like a bonus for getting there quicker or something like that. 
you take those chances. I thought it was dropping down to a hundred. Oh, hang on, hang on. You're taking me through the London sawmill, you stupid GPS thing. Right, so I've got to go... London sawmill, services, station access, back, back. Turn that off. Now we've got to slow right down to 55 kilometres. Stupid thing. I was following the GPS on the map. That's why I came down here. Or, or did I get it wrong? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it did say go left, and I just didn't spot it. I don't know. So now we've got to take this arduously slow detour. weird how when you click on that it doesn't take you to the map but it takes you to, to, to something else all right speed it up I want to stay right. And hopefully it should just be flat out now all the way through the channel tunnel. Obviously in the channel tunnel you're not going to get any animals. Speaking of which. <laughs> As if by flipping magic. like a bear, didn't it? Come on. Let's get up to 125. Let's really punch it. I'm eager to know whether or not this is going to be a success. Because if this is a success, then I can swap and give the um, employee that I've got this job. Uh, and then I don't have to worry about it. If this is going to pull in like a hundred thousand every week or something like that, then brilliant. I'll just have him run this job and we'll go back to the, the old crappy loco for a while. Won't be long before we've got enough cash. What does that 9% heart mean? That's got me slightly concerned. Hey, look at that, we're doing 131. Where we were. Very lenient over the speeding, aren't they? Got away with so many beating infractions.
Channel Tunnel's a nice easy run. Good. Okay, right. So we're going to go left, then we're going to go right into the Calais warehouse. Let's get hold of the Calais warehouse. Let's get access to the station. Post to say, okay, good. Cracking. We are ready. See, look, postage pickup. Now that's worrying me, because where am I supposed to take this post? Because it says they produce it, but they don't accept it. So where do they accept it? Where does the post go? This is what's worrying me. Right, which track are we supposed to be on? Oh, all the way over there, look. Completely gone the wrong way here. Oh, what? You can't just slam the brakes on then. I've been fined £10,000. Oh, wow. Well, they. <sighs> that seemed a little unfair. I was not speeding. Because I slammed the emergency brake on, I guess, whilst going around a corner. Now oh, that's bloody frustrating, that was. Occupy track. What? Oh, this is going from bad to worse. Oh, how am I going to get... How am I going to get over there? I want to go right. Why won't you let me turn right? I want to turn right. Let me turn right. It wouldn't let me turn right. That's so irritating. Yowza. Okay. So we're going to have to come in and we're going to have to back up. Is there a train right behind me? It bloody is as well. So how's this going to work out?
keeps telling me you can't change switch that is occupied by a train. You know why that is? Because the train behind me is blocking me from being able to do that. How the hell am I going to get over onto that track? This is crazy. But I can't even see it. I am out of sight. I have to guess. Oh man. Reverse. Brakes off. Go for it. Yep, yeah, left, left. I have no idea which way my train is going right. Or where, which track we're on or anything. Okay. How are we? We're going left, look. But I don't think there's enough space. Is there enough length? Where the hell's the pickup? Well, that is the pickup. Okay, all right, okay. Oh, this is horrible. Press V. Opening doors. Departing post. Departing postage. Okay, that's good. Picking up postage. Closing doors. Right, do I get paid for that then? I am so confused. When do I get paid? Who pays me and how? Let's have a little look see here. Company, my train, we're at Calais, we've got 43 people on board. Twenty three thousand to drop off thirty seven Okay. Current passenger number 43, posted at number 300. Only 11 wagons. Oh, that's weird. I thought I had 12. Right. Reverse off. Brake off. crumbs it's been nothing but awkward <laughs> I'm I'm quite happy to hand this over to my AI driver thing is though it's not a contract though so is that gonna work absolutely no idea is the answer Right, so we need to go to Calais Warehouse. Services, station access, postal service. No, no, that's the wrong thing, isn't it? No, don't do that. Oh my God, I'm all over the place. Calais, Maine is what I'm looking for. <sighs> Calais, Maine. 
two, three, two, one. Passenger boarding, back to station, close the radio. Right. It's been, this has been a tricky uh, run, for sure. Right, where's the drop-off? Oh, I see it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. been exhausting <laughs> ah this has burnt me out this one yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure the end of the train is, is on the platform yeah I think so slow ourselves down Emergency brake on, press V. So that got us 50,000 there. Now passengers are boarding, so now we've got to go back to London. Wow, okay. Where's the nearest factory? <laughs> I cannot decouple these trains. I, I just think that's such an odd decision. Because that's such a big part of uh, you know, train simulation. It's such a huge part of train simulation. Well, I need to get over there to that green section so I can turn the train round. I'm going to put myself in left, which is quite scary because I don't know where that's going to put me exactly. But if it puts me close, then uh, we can work the rest out. I'm going to hand this over to my AI because it's, it's tricky. But I quite like to sell both my trains and buy another one of these and run cargo with this. I think that might be more fun. But yeah, not being able to decouple my train and turn around in a normal fashion is a bit of a problem for me. I'm not too happy about that, I've got to be honest. Now, we might run into a problem because I think that the employees we have have a... Well, the employee that we have has a maximum of five wagons. And we're exceeding that by quite a bit. So, how do I get around that? I guess I'm going to have to take a couple of wagons off. Which isn't too big a deal because we do have... Uh, more capacity than we have passengers and such. Okay. 
so we want to reverse the train's direction we don't need to refuel because we're electric for 200,000 there is another one I could sell the two that I have and buy another one of these yeah that's pretty cool right but now I need to go let's turn the train round we're ready to go He's taskless, so I need to come in here, employee list, grab this guy, change locomotive. Oh, okay, uh, cancel task. Change locomotive. So I want to put him in this one, but I can't because I'm in it. What? Oh. Uh, yeah, okay, let me think about this. So if I press F... Oh, you can go in there with just the back of your... You don't have to put the loco in, so that's good to know. Um, so I'm going to swap. All contracts will be lost, but we didn't have a contract. We were just running mail. Let me try this again. Company, employee list, click on you. Uh, change locomotive. I'm going to put you in this one. No mention of how many things we have. Create a task. Passenger postage. Yeah, look. You can only have three three passengers and yeah that is a big pain in the ass <laughs> okay so the task profit is going to be 601 we made 50,000 doing that why is he going to make 601 That's not going to work, is it? We can do five cargo loads, but hardly any passenger and a maximum of five total. So we could do that's not going to make any money at all. That's rubbish. We need someone with a high wagon limit, but they don't have good wagon limits. They're all rubbish. So we can get four. She can take four, so that's an improvement actually. But still, the profit is 601. That's absolutely 
Rubbish. We made 50 grand. I don't get it. What's the point? Why doesn't the task count for city level either? So that'll make 18 grand, but she'll get 66% of that. And when I put it up, when I increase that number, the number of wagons, the profit doesn't go up. That's only seven thousand. That's only seven thousand, but it's so, so much shorter a route that that would probably end up being more profitable. Aye, this is stressful. Twenty-seven grand. 30 grand. All right, well, let's, let's confirm that task and just hope that something comes out of that because that's confusing me. What? Why? Why have these all turned off? I don't like this UI. It gets in my way too often, and the information that I want just isn't available. Ah. Uh, stressful all right okay i think we'll leave it there i think i've much more to figure out but we're making progress anyway thanks for watching guys merry christmas to you i'll see you in the next one bye for now